Okay, that's the lecture number four of microcontroller programming. And we will try to discover a very basic concept, what is little onion and how it is contrasts with another term which is called big onion. So let's proceed to our topic. Okay, let's start our topic quickly. Uh, let's say we have a memory slot, two memory slots, and each of them can actually store one byte of information. So each of them is capable of storing one byte of information or eight bits of information. And since since these are memory slots, so they will definitely have address. So let's say uh, we are numbering them in hexadecimal. Uh, its, its address is 24 hex. I'm just taking a dummy a, uh, memory slots and dummy addresses just to understand the concept. Okay. And we are trying to develop our ground realities. And since it is a next slot, so it will have next address 2425 hex. So now we have two memory slots and we want to store certain uh, information in it. Since these two have uh, two bytes of inf cap information capacity, so let's say we have uh, two bytes. So what will be our two bytes? Let's say our two bytes are 7, 8, and 5, 4. It is just uh, a dummy example, and this is one byte, and this is one byte. And if one is not aware about how it is equal to one byte, so I can tell you, uh, since it is hexadecimal, so each hexadecimal symbol can actually uh, take four bits of information. So these are four hexadecimal symbols. So it will actually be equals to what? Uh, 16 bits of information. So let's do the next thing. Uh, this is our definitely lower byte and this is our higher byte. Now we have two different uh, possible alternatives in which we can store these information, right? So first approach can be we can store this lower byte in this lower address which is 24 hex and higher byte in uh, higher address which is 25 hex. So uh, th what will be happening? It will be uh, 54, which is least significant byte or lower byte, and it is going to store in 24 hex, right? And uh, 7, 8 will be stored here in higher address. Okay, what is another possible alternative? Let's draw this memory slot again just to uh, clarify and contrast them. Uh, again, the same concept, each of them can actually store what one byte of information and they are same memory slots so we address them same these are this is two four hacks and this is two five hacks right so now what we have to do here the another alternative and that would be what that would be that this higher information this is seven eight hacks can actually go to lower byte address that means seven eight will be coming here and this 54, which is the higher significant or sorry, lower significant byte, it can go to higher address, which means 54 will be coming here. So these are two different approaches. In the first approach, what we see here, uh, the lower address has lower byte and higher byte is going to store in higher address location. While in other approach is totally alternative, the lower byte goes to higher address right which is 54 and is, is being stored in 25 hacks and higher byte which is 78 hacks is going to store in 24 hacks which is a lower address so these are the two approaches which are termed as little onion and big onion the first thing that we learn in which lower address go to lower address uh, lower bytes sorry lower byte goes to lower address memory and higher byte goes to higher address memory that is called little onion approach okay uh, and the second other approach which is this one in which higher byte is being stored in lower uh, position or lower address memory slot and the lower byte being stored in the higher address memory slot that approach is known as big onion so that is the very simple difference between little onion and big onion i hope i have explained it clearly and one can actually do it uh, uh, for multiple microcontrollers one has to keep in mind both are quite applicable. Uh, some of the microcontroller manufacturer 
uh, uses little onion example is pick 18 subject of this course okay by microchip technology the big Indian it is equally applicable so Motorola actually following big Indian approach Motorola which is normally known as uh, free scale semiconductor as well so th those microcontrollers and your example is 6800 right it's very famous uh, microcontroller so both of these approaches are quite applicable some of them follow little Indian approach some of them follow big Indian the concept lies between these ground realities. I hope this is clearly uh, understood by you people. And if you have any uh, comments, you can post in comment section. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for listening. I hope you enjoyed this very short lecture.